welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm Austin and I am a New York City based beauty and style content creator. Today's product review is about a new sunscreen from one of my favorite brands, Versed, and it is called Guards Up. So in my product reviews, I like to go over the product claims, the ingredients, um, anything about the packaging and all of that also, and then actually show you cutaways of what it looks like applied to my skin. And I will give you my final thoughts at the end of the video. So make sure you watch until the end. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I put out new videos every Sunday, beauty product reviews and tips for beauty content creators. And please give this video a like if it helps inform your purchasing decision of Guards Up or if you enjoy my content. So since summer is upon us, I know that you are all probably thinking about SPF, although obviously we should all be thinking about SPF year round. And for me, SPF is not something that I mind wearing, but when I have it underneath makeup, it just isn't a good feeling. It's really sticky, it's really gooey and glommy, and I'm just not that into it going underneath my makeup. So if I wear sunscreen, usually I kind of forego my whole makeup routine. My base product that I use pretty much every single day, the IT Cosmetic CC Cream, is actually SPF 50 for UVA and UVB rays. So that is definitely something, but since it's not an SPF on its own, I was looking for something like that to add into my everyday routine. Some other sunscreens I've tried for reference. Um, one was the Super Goop Unseen sunscreen. I really do like that one a lot for my face, but again, it's not ideal to put underneath makeup. And kind of same thing with Glossier Invisible Shield. It does the job, but as far as actually wearing makeup with sunscreen, it's just still not my favorite. So I had pretty high hopes for this one from Burst um, because I was really still looking for something that could go underneath makeup pretty seamlessly and that obviously had the coverage I was looking for. So let's go over some of the product claims. Okay, so first of all, Guards Up is their new lightweight mineral SPF 35 that provides protection in three ways. It says it protects from environmental pollution, electronic pollution, screen time basically, and also sun protection. As far as the packaging and the product itself, um, you get 1.7 fluid ounces of products or 50 milliliters, and this packaging is actually made from 79% post-consumer waste. That basically means those materials have been removed from the waste stream and then processed, cleaned, and prepared for future use. So this is actually very eco-friendly packaging, which I think is great, and it is recyclable in most places. Um, Verst has a whole thing on their website about how to recycle different types of beauty products, so I'm gonna link that page down below obviously with a product link as well in case you'd like to go see how you can best recycle beauty products in your area because I know so many of us just throw them out and it would be great if we could all kind of make the move, make the conscious effort towards trying to recycle what we can. As far as the product itself in terms of the sun rays that it protects from, it protects from UVA and UVB rays and it also protects from HEB rays. So there's actually these three layers to your skin. I'm trying to be better about this. There's the epidermis, that's the top base layer of your skin. And then right below that is the dermis and then below that is the hypodermis. So Without sun protection, UVB rays can penetrate the epidermis, like the top layer of your skin. UVA rays can actually go into the dermis, that layer below that. And then these HEB rays can even go all the way down to the hypodermis. So UVB rays, or the ultraviolet blue rays, are actually the burning rays. So that's what causes like a sunburn on top of your skin. UVA rays, those ones that go deeper, are more like aging rays, and they can actually go down and penetrate your skin, and they are linked to damaged collagen and also potentially cancer. And then HEV stands for high energy visible rays. That is blue light emitted from your electronics and also the sun that can penetrate through to the deepest layer of your skin. So that's all pretty scary and is a good reason to wear SPF no matter what, even if you're not going outside that day. I'll show you in the cutaway now what the product actually looks like on the back of my skin. Unlike most sunscreens I've seen, um, the Supergoop and Glossier one are both this clear texture, and this one actually has a slight warmed up tint to it. I wouldn't say that it's an exact match of my skin tone, but it is slightly pigmented compared to the other ones that are just sheer, and obviously a white cast is annoying, but also that kind of extra greasy cast is still annoying too for those clear sunscreens like the ones I mentioned earlier. And as soon as I saw this, I was like, yes, it just, it looks more like a moisturizer than anything else. And it does not smell like sunscreen. That is 
major to me because that is one of the biggest turnoffs. I mean, I love the smell of sunscreen if I'm like spending a full day on the beach, you know what I mean? But if I am just gonna be sitting inside and I'm not going to the beach, I don't wanna smell the sunscreen and then suddenly be mad that I'm not at the beach. I think you get what I'm saying. I really don't know how there isn't a smell to this. I thought that that was not possible because I've only ever smelled sunscreens that smell like sunscreen. So this is very exciting to me that there is no smell here. As far as the price point for this, I'm a little disappointed. It is $21.99, so $22 for this much sunscreen. I mean, I know it's a face sunscreen, but if this is something that I really want to be wearing every day, which I obviously do, I think that's a little steep for me, especially because I was kind of under the impression that all Verse products were under $20. I'm sure I've said that at some point, either on my YouTube channel, or I think I just said it on my TikTok, so, why is this one just not under $20? I mean, if you had to give a little less product even or something to keep it under that price point, I think that that's at least something I thought to be true about the brand. So I'm not fully sure why it's $22 and you only get this much product. I think that's a little bit disappointing. Let's move on also and just talk about the ingredients in this. So first of all, Versed as a brand abides by the EU standards for the ingredients they include in their products. So that actually means that there are 1300 bad ingredients that they don't include in products and not all brands that are sold in the US are required to abide by those standards and they're the highest that exist out there. One of the main ingredients in this sunscreen is sea fennel extract, which is actually known to help with anti-aging and just make the skin look overall more glowy and more lustrous. It also has moringa seed extract, which is actually to kind of help with wrinkles and sagging of the face. So I kind of think that it's cool that this is still a very skincare minded product. It's not like any random sunscreen that you just slather on your face. It, it really seems to go in line with the rest of the brand and what they've presented as a whole in the one year that they have been around. Also, I can't believe Versed is turning one already. If you guys wanna see my like initial brand review from when this brand first came out, I will link it on the screen and down below so you can go check it out after this video. So I am overall obsessed with this as a face sunscreen. I feel like it's a good complement to the Paula's Choice sunscreen, which is my favorite body sunscreen. I just reordered some to come to my house, especially Especially now that it's getting much nicer out and I might even be able to work on my laptop outside. Truly living the dream in quarantine, aren't I? But yeah, I definitely love this product. Um, on the back it also says it's made for all skin types. I have more normal to dry skin, so I can definitely say that it works well for me. Um, it doesn't break me out, it's not drying, it's not anything like that. So I would be curious if you have combination or oily skin too, if you could share in the comments if you tried this, just to let everyone know so I can keep everyone in the loop, even people people who aren't necessarily my skin type and obviously again I'm always just one opinion definitely check out the reviews on the Verse website I think that way you can get a variety of different opinions as well as you are deciding to buy something all right and there you go that is my guards up sunscreen review shout out to Verse. I think this is an A plus product I'm personally obsessed with it and I will be using it now every day under my makeup feeling like a responsible real adult person if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and stick around. I would love to have you join the fam. I've been on YouTube for almost three years now and I'm just so in love with this little community that I've built here. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up down below if you found this video helpful and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.